Welcome to the video that I am the most scared to post on my channel just because it's very personal but that is like what I have always promised to like be with you guys is upfront and open and share my experiences with you so this is an experience that I went through recently that I want to share with you guys so about three months ago I got a breast reduction and this was my experience <laughs> thing we have to talk about is where I was at mentally at the time that I made this decision. I had been thinking about it for years, honestly. I'd heard about it and it had kind of been on my mind as always being an option, but I never actually thought that I would get one. And the idea scared me, but I got to a point where I knew that it would be a better decision for me to get a breast reduction versus like how my chest was impacting the way that I viewed myself and just the way I lived my life. So this is kind of where I was at mentally going into making that decision. I've just been having a lot of intrusive thoughts today and these are things that I feel like I've gotten really good at combating just like no I'm not doing that like I'm doing this the right way I'm doing this the right way but it's still hard if all day it's like just don't eat just starve yourself just skip dinner work out more that will change your appearance and that's gonna make you happier and I know it does not solve the issue you're trading one problem for another you're trading one insecurity for another issue it's not worth it to just destroy what I've built up I've also been looking up a lot of videos today about breast reductions just because I just do not like my chest. I keep telling myself like, you know what, if you lose weight, if you put in the work, then you can have this outcome of like, small boobs. If you run a lot, if you lift weights, if you do it all, then you can have this. It still just feels like it's not gonna happen, and so I wonder if doing that, like getting a breast reduction, would make me more confident. But the whole idea scares me. I just keep counteracting that thought with like, oh, but you'll lose fat in your chest, and then you'll have a smaller chest, and then you won't need one. And I decided it would be better to get a breast reduction than it would to continue to put this pressure on myself that had already become unhealthy and that was really just taking over my mind and my my thoughts again and I didn't want to let that happen so I sent this text to my mom it was off to the races from there still feeling pretty good about what my decision to get a breast reduction I sent like text to Allison and my mom last night and my mom just texted me this morning and was like give me a call when you get a chance it's like a typed smiley face so i don't know what that means i have a feeling that she won't be super supportive but i hope it's still kind of like in the researching and processing stage but i'm feeling pretty good about it just had a great conversation with my mom about getting a breast reduction which was just a weight off my shoulders and it means so much to me that she is so supportive of it because I wasn't sure how she would feel. Guys, I am so nervous right now. Like nervous, but like in an excited way. My name's Riley Real, and I'm just calling because I'm interested in scheduling a consultation. R-I-L-E-Y-R-E-H-L. -E March 2nd, 2002. 740 at gmail.com. Yes, would Dr. Angelos be available? That would be perfect. Awesome, thank you so much. Guys. <laughs> I just set my appointment for my consultation and I am so excited. It's the morning of my consultation. We are gonna leave in a few minutes and it's a two hour drive to the plastic surgery place. And then I'm going to have a consultation with Dr. Angelos um, about getting a breast reduction. And my mom just told me that my dad is somewhat against it. Makes me a little sad because I would like to breastfeed and I know like there's benefits to that but I just want, I want to be selfish in this instance like I want to love myself and I feel like doing that would help me be a better wife a better mom in general so that's kind of why I'm choosing this you know so anyway it just made me sad to hear that my dad is not very happy so enough crying i'm not gonna cry that's what's going on my mom and i are about to leave 
and I will fill you in on the day. I was super nervous on the drive to Columbus Aesthetic and Plastic Surgery where I was getting my consultation done. I kept thinking that I was gonna have to convince everybody there why I needed to have the surgery. Instead, everybody was so understanding and supportive. I didn't even have to say anything. It was like, yeah, like this makes sense for you. To be validated that way was incredible. I decided after my consultation that I was gonna have the surgery done and I was able to get it scheduled a month after my consultation for August 1st. One of the main reasons I was able to schedule it that quickly is because I didn't go through insurance. I paid all of this out of my own pocket and so that's why it was like, yeah, we can get you in. This is the earliest time. We have an opening here and you can get in right now. I didn't have to get permission from anybody other than my own self. So <laughs> that was convenient. I'll call her to go over discharge instructions with her. And how tall are you? I'm 5'4". What surgeries have you had in the past? I haven't had any surgeries. No wisdom teeth, tonsils, mm, anything like that? Nope, this is my first okay. one. Make sure no ibuprofen, Motrin will leave. Sunday night, the 31st, nothing to eat after midnight. We allow you to drink water up until two hours before surgery. You're gonna wanna wear something that buttons up or zips up the front. Bring your photo ID, no jewelry, no makeup, no nail polish on your fingernails. And then just make sure no driving and you have somebody to stay with you for 24 hours after surgery. What questions do you have? I think you answered all of them, thank you. Okay, all right, Riley, well, I'll talk to you next week, okay? Okay, talk to you then, thank you all so right. much. Take care. You yep. too, bye-bye. Hi guys, I'm in the midst of editing. I look kind of like a hobo because I need a shower <laughs> and I just have not gotten ready at all for the last few days, but. Um, that was the surgery center that just called me to check in about surgery that's coming up. They've called me multiple times and they're the ones who have been keeping in contact with me as the date gets closer to when I get my surgery done. You can see all the questions that I got asked pre-op and everything like that. So hopefully things go smoothly and I'm getting my surgery in like a week and a half. So crazy! The cost is broken down into different... I haven't seen people talk about this, so I thought I'd talk about it really quick. They gave me this sheet and talked me through all the charges. So the procedure fees for my surgeon, it's $6,200. And then I'm getting cosmetic liposuction on the axilla, which is $2,500. The bra that comes with it is $64. They're giving me some scar gel, which just comes with the procedure. The anesthesia cost is $1,377. And then the facility fees where I'm getting my surgery done is $1,650.60. That comes to a total of $10,000. $191.60. That's the total that this surgery is going to cost. One thing you should know about me is that one of my toxic traits, I would say, is that I'm kind of a penny pincher. Maybe not a penny pincher, but I'm very aware about money and like I get stressed out about it very easily. And this surgery is gonna leave me with not as much money as I'm used to having in my bank account. Like I'm using, <laughs> I'm using the majority of money that I have in my savings right now on this surgery so that's really scary but it's also kind of motivating too like i'm like okay i really need to work hard after this and i'm just need to reassure myself that like this is something that is going to help me be a better person that's honestly how i'm seeing this it's gonna make me feel more confident in myself it's gonna be great so it's gonna be worth it and i'm paying for all this myself my parents aren't helping with this so it's all from my account and that's really scary but that's okay, we're gonna do this. So I'm feeling a lot of trepidation going into this surgery. I don't like to be in pain. I don't like being injured or having injuries. So the fact that I'm getting a surgery on my chest and that I won't have control over what it ends up looking like is really terrifying to me. But also, I think this is gonna be really good for me. This has always been my number one insecurity. Even over an insecurity, it's been my number one inconvenience because it's not like I look at my chest and I think it's ugly. It's just their size that's always been an inconvenience to me. I'm just excited for that to not be the case anymore. I can't even imagine all the clothes that I'll get to wear. So let's go ahead and pay this bill. There's no going back after this, guys. No going back. I'm about to pay $6,164 for my surgeon's fee. There it is. That's the least hesitation I feel like I've ever had with 
a purchase like this and one this big. I just got my pregnancy pillow in the mail today. <laughs> you guys can have a cameo. A box want. with in a box. Oh wait, I got like a used but like not used. Got a used pregnancy pillow? Like an open one but like not. It's cheaper. Goodness. It's inflating. Ooh. Feel this, guys. It's got like this. <laughs> I have to give the biggest shout out to the subreddit reduction, which can be found on Reddit. It was the most helpful resource I could have found when going through this process, and I highly recommend it to anybody who's looking into getting the surgery or just wants to learn more about it. The community has over 33,000 people who are looking into a breast reduction, have gotten one already. There are pictures that they show their before and afters. And it's just like a really wholesome, uplifting group of people that are there to encourage you and answer your questions. So I definitely recommend it if this is something that you're considering. Today is July 31st, it's 8 p.m. right now. And I get surgery in approximately 12 hours. So I just thought I'd do a little update of how I'm feeling, like the nerves, everything, what the plan is. I had to pick up my medicine. So I did that yesterday and then I also, I still need to get laxative because apparently you're just gonna be all blocked up afterwards. My surgery is at 8.30 tomorrow morning and I have to be there two hours prior to surgery. So I have to arrive at 6.30 and because I live two hours away from the surgery center, that means I have to leave my house at 4.30 in the morning. So it's gonna be a little bit of a drive to get there, but it's gonna be fine. I need to make sure I go to sleep at a decent hour though because I have been staying up kind of late the last few days. I can't eat anything after midnight and then I can drink water only until 6 a.m. And then it also says don't take any medications before you come. So those are the instructions I was given. I'm kind of like, I feel like I haven't really thought about this honestly, like the last week it was kind of weighing on me. Like I was getting super nervous and like kind of overthinking things. And then I feel like like the, over this past week, it's just been like, this is what I'm doing. Just sunk in and I'm like, yeah, that is that. So it's kind of crazy. This is my last day. My last day like this. My last day with these. I don't know, it's a weird feeling. I think the positives outweigh the negatives where I would not have gotten to this point. Like I still can't even believe that I have gotten here. I'm grateful I was able to schedule my surgery so soon because I had my consultation exactly a month ago. So it's crazy like one month and then I'm having surgery. Once I decided I'm doing this, the process has been pretty quick and that's what I wanted and grateful for that so it's not like waiting around. I just hope that it all works out and that I heal well and that I love my results. Like I just want to be more confident in myself. It's crazy how much that can affect you but like I've been wearing baggy t-shirts and just shorts and comfy pants. That's what I wear most of the time because it's what I feel most confident in. It's gonna be a whole new world feeling like I can wear things that I haven't been able to before and then like look good on me you know I just think a lot of confidence will come from that I'm just having faith that everything's gonna work out <sighs> surgery's in an hour and a half, so I'm just hanging out till then. So, yeah, I've been feeling pretty good. A little nervous, but that's kind of to be expected, right? Goodbye. like paparazzi. <laughs> Hi 
guys. I just came out of surgery. I went good. They're playing Lumineers for me, which is really nice. The medication kicked in so fast, it was like, Next thing I knew, I was trying to wake up. So anyways, Monica came in and she was like, you got the dream team. And I was like, okay. Just had me some, some stuff for like the 50 minutes to arrive today. They rolled me out into the OR. They like transferred me to the bed. And I was like, I should not be worried about anybody seeing my butt crack. Because <laughs> <laughs> Because they've seen so many butt cracks already, <laughs> so, so it's not an issue. How are you feeling right now? I'm feeling great, man. My butt. I can't feel my boobs don't hurt. I just hope they look good. I just hope my nipples aren't weird shapes now. Yeah. He said it went like perfectly, so. It's fabulous. He did come in and draw on me before. Oh, I hope to get this part down. <laughs> <laughs> to Francesca's non-existent Trust the process, guys. Oh yeah, they know what they're doing. Yeah, they know what they're doing. Dr. Angelos went on vacation to the west, and he had a great vacation. He had a great vacation? Yeah. Did he visit family or anything? Yeah, that's why he was there. And he loves the mountains. Hopefully he doesn't move back there, though, because I like him here. <laughs> He's handsome. <laughs> Hopefully I don't throw up in your car, but if I do, there's a bag in my backpack. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I didn't even think about that. But I think I'm good, and then I slurp down that water. I slurp that ish down, because... I haven't drank very much today. I don't know, I'm starting to cry. There's no fun. Because like, you're so thirsty. Bag. Yeah, because I'm so thirsty. I'm drinking like half a gallon by now. Why am I crying about water? I love your water, right? I do. I do flask for life. No, <laughs> just kidding. Stanley for life. I keep mixing them up. I don't know why Allison's bringing three water bottles to school. That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> Yeah, I, I 
got it, almost all of it in there, and then I had to wipe the sides off, and then I'm like, this is gross, but then I was like, wait a minute, they do this all day, every day, and they don't care, and also bodily fluids are kind of cool, so like, whatever. It kind of smelled like popcorn, though, not gonna lie. Did you eat a lot of popcorn last night? No, I didn't have any popcorn. No, one more over. Okay. Yeah, sorry. It's really Jeez, confusing. get a grip. <laughs> I'm not even driving, okay? previously so that's good I did take my first pain meds because I was feeling burning underneath where those incisions are but other than that I'm feeling good this is my setup I got this pregnancy pillow which you saw me unbox the other day and I have a pillow behind my back and then this up above it which is really nice because then I can like fall asleep like this I'm about to watch Virgin River which will be great i've been waiting to like watch this until like right now i'm feeling less groggy now that i slept a little bit but still groggy like i'll probably fall asleep to this i'm not hungry right now it's like 3 p.m and i have i've had a biscoff cookie and one cinnamon bear and i am not really hungry right now yeah and i will probably have to go to the bathroom sometime soon so i'll need help to do that this is my sleeping setup i've got my pregnancy pillow which has actually been a very big lifesaver. I've been able to sleep really well, like sitting up. It's been super comfortable, especially when I was on my parents' bed. Now I'm on the couch. I've moved locations so that my parents can go to sleep. I need to take my medication in like 15 minutes, and that will be my last medication for the evening. Hopefully I can sleep well. Hopefully everything's good, but that's my update. Elena helped me brush my teeth and do everything I needed to do, so thank you, Nina. And then tomorrow's just going to be another chill day like this where I'm probably just going to sleep and recover and get well, so yeah, I'll just keep you guys updated. I'm about to take my shower today. Two days post stop. I have seen a picture of my chest and what it looks like. It looked pretty swollen and like, I still have all the markings and everything on, um, but I did like take this off for like two seconds to check everything and then right back on so i still haven't gone number two so i need to take one more of my laxative things i should have probably taken three at a time but i've just been separating them so there's that and then i've just been taking my medicine every four hours so melina's gonna help me shower we're just getting close on all new levels aren't we so this is just filled up with the pads that they gave me the other day i think we flipped some over because i had a little bit of blood but for the most part i feel like it looks pretty good i was scared i couldn't look at it yesterday but i could look at the pictures and they were good i've been in these same clothes since surgery yeah i'm pretty sure there's some bruising under my arms elena is gonna get to see me nike buns i'm gonna go ahead and take it off so there's one pad that is still stuck to me mom said How are they looking? 
They look good. Do they? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, I have to get in the shower now. Okay, so. Oh, wow, those are so swollen. Ooh. Yeah, but they look good. Yeah, they really do. But we're gonna go take a shower now. It's the same day that I took a shower. You got to see kind of what my bandages looked like off. I'm sure I blurred what needed to be blurred, but that's kind of what I was looking at. As for my shower experience, the instructions were to just wash my body, but have my back face the water stream, and it just kind of roll over the front, and then just pat my incisions dry afterwards, and then put more cotton in there, and just put my surgical bra on. I did almost kind of pass out in the shower though. I had to like sit down and like breathe. I started to like lose my hearing, lose my vision, and then I moved from the shower to my parents' like main bedroom and then just kind of sat on the floor for a little bit until I could like get it together. So make sure you have a chair and that you're sitting or like something like that in the shower just so that in case you need to like chill. Don't try to wash your hair. Don't try to do a ton of stuff. I took out my braids as you can see. My hair is like not super gross. I'm just gonna have one of my sisters braid it. The surgeon says that I needed to wear my bra for all of the six weeks. So eat, sleep, everything all day in this bra. I have been feeling pretty tight today. Just everything is feeling like really kind of sore and tight, but I've been taking my meds. I still have all of the drawings on here. So that's kind of fun. Just a few minutes ago was the first time I pooped since before my surgery. I thought it was gonna be harder to wipe, but thankfully it wasn't. And if I actually did need help, my sister has said that she's willing to wipe my butt. Love, Lena. Thank you, Lena, for being so. So kind, but everything's looking good. I am happy with what I can see so far. I'm definitely still really swollen and bruised, but I have a feeling that it's gonna all look great afterwards. So I'm feeling happy about that. I ate more today than I have the past couple of days. So that's felt good. I would love taking the bra off. I feel so tight. I felt, I looked at one of my nipples and I'm so bruised below it. Yeah, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ouch. That looks so painful. This is what looks really painful. Look over here. Like under there. And then it for what? Yeah. Oh, they're like hard as rocks. I know it. It's uncomfy. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Mm -hmm. I am currently one week post op. I am doing okay. I'm actually editing right now because I have a video due in two days that I have not worked on. So I need to work on that. During the day, I'm doing fine, but I have not been able to sleep the last few nights. Like I, for some reason, cannot get comfortable. Pregnancy pillow over there. She saved my life the first few days. Like I slept so good through the night. It was fabulous. But now I don't know if it's my neck, my posture, my back, my shoulders. Everything is just so messed up that I just can't get comfortable on anything. I like probably moved to five different locations and positions and I could not get comfortable. So that kind of sucks. But other than that, I'm doing all right. I'm 10 days post-op right now. I originally had my two week appointment scheduled for this upcoming Tuesday, but my mom's gonna be out of town. So we ended up getting it rescheduled for tomorrow. So I'm trying to make myself look presentable and make sure everything's in order. I'm going to attempt to shave my armpits and like, yeah, I'm gonna wash this bra again, get everything as clean as I possibly can and smelling as good as I possibly can before I have to allow people to, you know, deal with it. So that's the plan. Driving in a car is not comfortable. Today was the first time I've driven in a car since surgery and just like, I wanna hold them, but like holding them hurts or like is uncomfortable and so is like letting them free, so. It is November 12th and that means I'm a little over three and a half months post-op and I'm doing so well guys. My scars are looking good, they're lightening up, everything just worked out the way it was supposed to and I know that this surgery was something that I needed to do for myself and no I am I posting this video to tell you that you should get surgery. It's such a personal experience and decision and that's why it's kind of scary for me to post this because it's like it's such a personal, it's, so, it's very like personal but I wanted to be a resource to anybody who is going through this type of thing and and struggling with this and and wants to do this I love you guys and I always just want to keep you informed and I wouldn't feel right either just like not telling you but it has taken me a minute to want to post this so 
personally, this was the right decision for me. Um, I'm grateful that I did it. If you have any questions or would like a Q&A video where you guys can ask me specific questions about my experience, I am happy to do that. Just let me know in the comments. All right, guys, that's the end of this video. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Thank you.